Hello and welcome. Today's topic is our development of the lymphatic system. See, today's topic is very very short and uh, very simple. Try to understand. At the end of the fifth week of intrauterine life, this lymphatic system starts developing. Lymph nodes develop from the intraembryonic mesoderm, which consists of mesenchymal cells, and lymphatic vessels develop from the sac-like outgrowth of the endothelium lining of the veins. Okay. Now, two jugular lymphatic sac develop at the junction of the subclavian vein and anterior cardinal vein so anterior cardinal vein subclavian vein you already know about that two iliac lymph sac develops at the junction of the iliac vein and posterior cardinal vein posterior cardinal vein and iliac veins you already know about that one retroperitoneal lymph sac presents or develop in the root of the dorsal mesentery what is dorsal mesentery you already know that and one cisterna chile presents or develops posterior to the retroperitoneal sac okay now lots of lymphatic vessels connects with the adjacent lymphatic sac and pass along to form a bigger lymphatic vessel okay two large lymphatic vessel forms these are thoracic duct and right lymphatic duct see in this photo suppose this is a longitudinal lymph vessel this is another longitudinal lymph vessel okay and in between we are getting the cross connection this one is known as right longitudinal lymph vessel and this one is known as left longitudinal lymph vessel this part is known as cranial part this part is caudal part for this left one this is the cranial part and this is the caudal one anyway so the caudal part of the right longitudinal lymph vessel cross connects with the cranial part of the left longitudinal lymph vessel and ultimately forms thoracic duct okay the caudal part of this left longitudinal lymph vessel is also contributed by the cisterna chile of the intestine so what is cisterna chile you already know about in my previous anatomy videos anyway the cranial part i mean the remaining cranial part of the right longitudinal lymph node ultimately forms the right lymphatic duct now this right lymphatic duct drains the head neck and right upper limb rest of the entire body lymph drained by this entire area which is ultimately drained by thoracic duct okay so this is all about our lymphatic system development i hope you will understand and see you in the next video bye